friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on September 28th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. God bless you all and thank you for joining me. We're going to start out here looking at our sun as we do have an incoming sunspot. Quite active actually when you look at it closely here. Not quite equatorial. But we still have that incoming coronal hole wind speeds and we have another coronal hole incoming as well that was the last 48 hours for our sun looking here at our last six hours for real-time solar wind steady at 600 kilometers per second we had a small spike to 800 kilometers per second overnight and here is the difference of our magnetosphere during for instance, 300 kilometers per second and 600 kilometers per second. The wind speeds have doubled overnight from the coronal hole, earth facing. So this is looking at the wind and here is the pressure. For those who don't normally see what our magnetosphere goes through during solar winds, yesterday is a prime example. I showed low solar wind speeds and today they have definitely, as I said, doubled. Let's look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Around the world, largest here, recent, largest and recent is the 5.8. Easter Island, southeast of Easter Island. That was overnight last night. Yesterday we had 6.0. Ra uh, Raul Island, New Zealand. As well, a 5.0 going off, and that was after that pretty deep earthquake, 583 kilometer depth, 4.5 in Fiji. Five point zero here in uh, China, 4.9 here off the coast of Yemen. Interesting, interesting earthquake. An uptick all across the coastline of South America from Argentina to Peru. Four point three there, Central America. And we have seen a small increase in seismicity. San Andreas, three point four here in Avenal, California. And still watching small two point oh, three point oh earthquakes warm in the coastline. Small up uptick in Alaska, False Pass, Alaska. Watching for volcanic activity here in the next little while. I'll be keeping an eye on that. Watch for the volcanic activity report coming up tomorrow. So stay tuned to Morning Dew. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Still watching a pretty deep earthquake event. West side of Ring of Fire. Earthquake swarm ever since that earthquake. Um, the Dominican Republic. Puerto Rico. Watching a lot of activity here recently on the Eurasia Indian plate line as well. A lot of deep earthquakes recently. The quiet zone still North American plate. Now let's look at the last two days for satellite imagery over North America as that cold front is really starting to slip through. It's now snowing in Calgary and we're supposed to be receiving quite a storm as a low pressure system comes in off of the British Columbia Mountains. But definitely going to be some cold temperatures behind as you see. Low pressure center fueling down the cold temps from Northwest Territories and all across the Midwestern United States and Central you will be seeing pop-up thunderstorms for the next few days as this storm moves in through Montana. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike. Looking here at three active tropical storms. My tag, Lorenzo and Karen. And now Karen and Jerry 
are somewhat combined and are going to be hitting Ireland and the United Kingdom in the coming days. And then watch Lorenzo to follow the same track right into Ireland, Scotland, and then into the United Kingdom. So Europe is going to be expecting the Atlantic hurricanes, tropical storms over the next few days. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family in Europe. You've got a busy few days ahead of you. United Kingdom will be receiving snow as well. So there's going to be lots to talk about here for extreme weather across Europe as we have a pretty strange Atlantic pattern right now. Wouldn't you say so? Subscribers, you've seen friends and family, you've seen these models before. This is a very strange Atlantic hurricane season. Watch for a low pressure center developing in Central America. That could be a tropical storm forming in the Gulf of Mexico in the seven day forecast. And then of course, we're looking at this winter storm event which is going to bring quite an extreme weather event across Ontario, Manitoba, and then into Quebec, and then the, the Atlantic provinces. So straight across the nation, this storm will be affecting United States and Canada from west to east. Stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Things are changing drastically. Winter is not even here yet. This is the first week of autumn, and we're going to be receiving temperatures dipping down to minus 11 degrees in Alberta here after the storm. Now, I've talked about this before. Colder temperatures from above are being pushed down. Higher elevations will receive colder temperatures right away. And look at that, minus 11 degrees. That is a polar vortex and as well a collapsed magnetosphere. Looking across Alaska, temperatures starting to cool off. They're going to be receiving quite a bit of snow as well as a large low pressure center heads into the bay. And then tropical cyclone or typhoon Maytag is going to be ripping across Taiwan and into Shanghai and then into the South China Sea and Korea, South Korea, North Korea. Watch for a very large extreme weather event across Southeast Asia in the coming days as well from tropical cyclone Maytag, which will be a typhoon in the next couple days, I'm sure. It will be classified as a super typhoon. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family around the world, looking around the world right now at extreme weather from around the world and not much to talk about in Africa, except daily evaporation. No torrential downpours to talk about. Low pressure center coming off later in the week. We'll watch for development in the Atlantic Ocean. Now to South America, as we do have an atmospheric river, which will be affecting Buenos Aires and straight up into Bolivia. Now they really need the rain, but this is a lot of rain. This is going to be a lot of rain and a hail event as those temperatures and the low pressure high pressure convergence line all the storms will be riding it looking at the southern hemisphere quick strong low pressure centers developing off of the Bristol Islands region still huge low pressure centers and they're building folks so stay aware and prepared. Stay tuned to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Keeping you aware and prepared because I truly do have a love for all of humans on this planet. So God bless humanity. We are one, just a different species of human. So let's come together now. Please share this channel. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.
Yeah.